www.nudaboss.com. This is Ty. This video is still a part of the video tutorial series about Adobe Audition CS6. For some other videos about Adobe Audition, you can check that out from the list of videos and playlists that we have on NoodleWorks on our YouTube channel. Do scan that up from there and probably it would help prior to learning the video that we have right now. On this video I'd like to share to you and how you can make use of clip time stretch properties or clip time uh, stretch tool on Adobe Audition CS6 to speed down or to speed up your audio file or raw audio file to match it with the interval of background music or an additional voiceover or maybe another voice file or rhythmic file that you're trying to blend in for a mix down. Uh, so what you want to do is open up your Adobe Audition CS6 from there and we're gonna start off by creating a basic uh, voice file first or probably a raw file that you have. If you don't know how to create basic recording yet on Adobe Audition CS6 do check that out from the list of videos that we have you can learn it from there. So after so go back and we're gonna start off from here. Uh, take the record button say record uh, probably 12, 44, 100 for the sample rate, channel, stereo, bit depth, 32 is going to be OK. Take on OK. Now, think so that this is a uh, voice file. I don't know. Let me change this. We're just going to use number counts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Stop it. Um, the reason why I counted at a different interval because we would want to speed that up a little bit later. That's the purpose of the video to to somehow share to you and how you could use time stretch to um, speed up again or to slow down the interval of or the facing of an audio file. Right click over that. Save selection as record 12 mp3, send it to desktop or the path, and control A delete, bring it down, and you have that. Let's say this was uh, from a client or probably from a friend asking you to create uh, an audio recording, output that to a radio commercial or to, to something else, but you have a bit of a problem. Go back to audition. Now, the problem that you are faced with is let's create a multi-track session for now uh, let me go back take multi-track right on top you say uh, no 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 um, radio add 001 uh, radio add 001 44 132 bit uh, stereo take on OK it's gonna be alright so here all right, so what you want to do uh, is load the file right here. Drag that straight to there and um, max that up a little bit so you have this. Oop, let me make it a little bit smaller because it's too large now. All right, so that will be your files. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so we're playing that. And now you'd want to match that to a four slash four facing. How you'd want to measure that? You'd want to use a metronome. If you have a drum backing, you can use that. But if you don't have, you just do want to create a manual count. Yes, you can use this. Go to multi-track right here. Go to metronome. Then enable metronome. And see here, you have your uh, metronome right on top. If you play that, one, two, Let's mute this. I'm just going to show you metronome. All right, so you have your uh, drum beats to measure the interval. Three, four, five, six. You'd want to make this a little bit faster. All right, the audio you'd want to make it a little bit faster. So you mute this. What you do with clip time stretch is right click over that and go down to something that says stretch and stretch properties right here okay it's going to bring you to this part let me make that a bit bigger it's on the properties already so let me repeat that so you can see the change 
take all markers or probably anything on the rack then right click over this and go back to stretch then go to stretch properties take a look at on this part there you got your stretch properties already so what you do you don't mind the first part right here but you go scrolling down to something that says stretch with something that says 100.0 percent but the thing is grayed out you can't use that so what you want to do is to just enable this say mode off just take that down to real time you can use rendered but real time will be okay because you can measure that from here and of course you're just going to output that to a mix down it's going to be all right so from here one play the uh play two, the audio file again three four five six seven all right so that was your audio file bring your playhead here so that we could have a marker and stretch uh let's just max it down to really really fast probably something that says 50. highlight over that hold drag to the left side and look up something that says 50. and see that your marker was here before and brought that down to something minimal notice that it did not cut anything uh no cuts no uh no deleted parts it's just actually sort of like uh how do i say that uh it was sort of like pressed down to make everything faster so take on home and play it one two three four five six seven eight nine see that one two three four five six seven eight nine it's too fast now bring that down back to 10 probably uh, let's say uh, this is say 21 one two three five six seven eight nine see and if you want to make that I mean if you want to move that back to 100 and it's gonna be okay two three four five that was the original but you'd want to make it now problem now is a little bit different it's too fast you'd want to make it really really slow let's make 190 two three four five six seven eight nine see it's 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 too drag now all right so well that's about it if you don't want to change the pitch right here oh, let's make it uh like this That's the secret of how you create a chipmunk voice. <laughs> you just tighten up the pitch. Okay, so that's about it. Um, that's somehow can help you in speeding up or slowing down your raw audio file to match that with your background music or probably drum beats or anything that you want to add in to blend it to that raw audio file so you could have a perfect mix down. Again, for some of the video tutorials, you can check out www.newtheboss.com. My name is Ty. Thanks for watching and do subscribe to our channel.